Hey everybody and welcome to Facebook Live. <laughs> I'm Grant and this is Jeanette. Hello. And today we're live in the Rachel Ray Show Prep Kitchen. We certainly are live. Yes. <laughs> we're making all things buffalo today because it's the beginning of fall, mm -hmm. right? And, Tomorrow. Today. Tomorrow. Um, fall means football and football means buffalo. So today we're going to make four different um, brand new buffalo recipes that you've never seen before, mm. ever. You've never seen these anywhere. Um, <laughs> But we want to hear from you guys. Comment and let us know where you guys are watching from if you have any questions for us. Um, but our question to you guys is, what is your preferred dipper for ranch or, or for buffalo wings? Are you team ranch or team blue cheese? That's, what are you? A, I, we've been, we've been talking about you? this. All, who am I? Uh, we've been talking about this all morning. I'm a, I'm a little bit both. Oh, I don't wow. know. I don't know if I could pick. It's like picking a favorite child, ranch or blue cheese. Yeah. Ooh, maybe if, by the end of it, I'll figure it out. I like both. I would feel a little sad for you if your children were ranch and blue cheese, <laughs> but I do understand what you're saying. Um, speaking of ranch, ranch is my favorite yes. um, dipper for buffalo, so I'm going to make buffalo wings today, um, and I like to call these the ultimate buffalo wings mm. because they are marinated in a ranch marinade. What? So they're going to taste like ranchy chicken, but we're going to toss them in really, really hot buffalo sauce. Stop um, so Jeanette is just smashing up some garlic. In this bowl, I have... Um, some buttermilk because that's the basis of a ranch dressing. Um, so to that, Jeanette's adding the smashed garlic. I'm going to put in some garlic powder garlic. and some dried dill. I'm going to put in a lot of dried dill because to me, that's what ranch is. Like it tastes and smells like, that smells like ranch to me, right? I agree. Yep. I don't think you dill. can make ranch without dill. So dill. I'm using a little dried dill in there. Um, and then I'm going to add in a really big pinch of salt because this marinade is going to sort of brine the chicken um, and make it nice and flavorful from the inside. And I'm going to add in a bunch of freshly cracked black pepper. How long do you leave the chicken in there for? Um, for this marinade, you need to do at least two hours, okay. but you can do up to overnight. Um, anything more than that, you might tenderize the chicken too much. Um, but this is a really nice, um, easy marinade to make, and, you know, it's pretty flexible. Um, so I'm just going to stir that up. I have some chicken wings in the back counter. Right. Do you want to grab those for me, Jeanette? I can take a subtle hand. <laughs> Um, and then you just add, see, doesn't that look like ranch? It looks like a really thin, like, milky ranch. Yeah. Um, so we add our chicken wings to that. Put some tongs in. I'll just use my hands. Yeah, use your hands. We'll wash your hands. Right. So that goes straight in. And then, like I said, you just let those marinate in the fridge um, for a couple hours. I like to do it overnight so they get really ranchy. Uh, the longer they sit in there, the more they're going to taste like ranch. So you just keep those in the fridge. I have some back here that are already done. I'm going to go wash up really here, quick. Here, I'll grab those for you. These look absolutely awesome. Do you guys know that, Grant, did you know you could freeze buttermilk? I didn't know that. Buttermilk's one of those things you can freeze, yeah. That's a great tip. I know. Um, oh, Lori says that, uh, Lori wrote in and she said hi and that she'll be at the show next month. Oh, great. Lori, give us a big We're wave. You'll see us see running you, around Lori. with food and towels and chicken everywhere. <laughs> give us a big, give us a big wave. Um, and Ashley commented that she loves everything Buffalo. Oh, great. Well, this Could is the perfect... Yeah. Um, Facebook Live for you it because is. we're making all things buffalo today. Um, now I'm going to fry my wings. You could bake these, but if we're going ultimate wings, I think they need to be fried, yeah, right? Yeah, it's a little so, bit of a cheat day up yeah. here. <laughs> so down here I just have a little bit of flour. It's two cups of flour, and I'm going to add in a couple tablespoons of cornstarch. Um, now cornstarch is kind of a secret ingredient. It does two things. It gets your uh, chicken nice and crispy on the outside, but it also helps the sauce stick to it after mm. you toss it in the mm -hmm. sauce. Maria just commented that she's baking banana bread right now. Maria, that sounds Ooh, delicious. Yummy. Tina was just in here testing a banana bread recipe that looks so yummy. Um, and Ariel commented that she loves us. Oh, hello, Ariel. Ariel. We love you back. Where are you guys watching from today? You guys um, comment and uh, let us know where you guys are watching from. Yeah. We well, love Ariel, Ariel is probably watching from the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> but she's a little mermaid, right? Ariel? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. Um, so, now we're ready to fry. I'm just going to take my chicken straight from the marinade mm. and dump it into our um, flour over here. Mm -hmm. And then you just put it into some oil. This oil is at 325 or 350 degrees. Um, I'm going to cook them for about 12 minutes because you want to make sure they're really nicely cooked. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're going to toss them in our sauce. If you don't have one of those handy tabletop fryers, what, what, um, can you just use a Dutch oven? Yeah, I just use it at home. I don't have one of these. I just use a Dutch oven. Um, you can also shallow fry these if you wanted to in a little cast iron pan, but mm -hmm. you're going to get a better, like, crispier crust if you do a deep fry on these nice. guys. Um, Smita commented, and she said, asked a question, um, when you're cooking chicken at home, do you have to clean it before you marinate it? Yeah, I mean, it's totally, I think that's just like a personal preference. Yeah. Um, I don't really clean my chicken at mm -hmm. home. I just, you know, put it straight into the marinade. I find that if you clean your chicken in the sink, you're going to spread more germs because that water is going to get everywhere. Yeah. And um, and so I don't, I don't, I just normally go right into the oven. Anything that was like foodborne illness on it would get killed in the oven or when you were cooking it. Yeah. So I never wash my chicken. Um, Anne says hi from Ecuador. Hello, Anne. Hey, Ecuador. Anne. 
And um, Jill says that your wings are the perfect recipe for football season. They are. I agree, yeah, I and I am considering myself really... quite lucky today to get to try these because yeah. it smells good already. I'm really excited to get to try these because they really are really, really good. Yummy. Um, so I have about eight wings in there. I like to do them in batches because if you put too many, too many in the oil at the same time, it's going to lower the temperature, so they're not going to cook very nicely. Um, so I just have about eight wings in there. Those are going to fry up for 10 to 12 minutes, like I said. Um, and we'll come back and check on those in a second. So Caroline commented, and she said that her taste changed when she got older, and that now she likes a little spice. Mm. So Caroline, these recipes will be great because, you know, you kind of, um, depending on how much hot sauce and things you add, you kind of, uh, you know, you, you're in control of how spicy things are. Yeah, totally. Um, and that's funny because we actually talk sometimes about how um, taste buds do change. Is that just a myth that they change like every eight to ten years? I don't know. I think it's true because I feel like my taste changed. I didn't used to like cilantro and that's one of my favorite things. You know what's funny is that I used to be crazy about tomatoes and now tomatoes like I can kind of take or leave them. Yeah. I know. Maybe they do change every couple of years. I know. We're shocked. Tomatoes. I'll eat them. They're just not my favorite thing. Uh, and then Caitlin said that she's watching from the elliptical at the gym and getting hungry. Caitlin, that's hysterical. <laughs> Um, good for you for being at the gym. And Jackie says hi from Woodbury, Connecticut. Hello, Jackie. Hello, um, Jackie. I'm getting started. Um, I don't know if you saw me earlier. I was peeling um, some cauliflower. I'm making um, what we're going to call like a little uh, chicken wing fake out. Um, these are my buffalo cauliflower wings. And um, you just take one head of cauliflower and you're just going to roast this the way that you roast any vegetable, really in a high, hot oven. So like 450 for like 15 to 20 minutes. I coated it in a little bit of olive oil and salt. You don't need pepper because you're going to add a lot of hot sauce. I'm gonna pop those in the oven. Um, and what I like about these is like when you're eating them, they've almost got a little wing on the end because you like I cut them yeah. to have like a little about one inch pieces. Yeah. So it almost feels like you're eating a chicken wing. Who knew the cauliflower would be such a good finger food? But I feel like we roast vegetables in the kitchen all the time. If we have any leftover broccoli or cauliflower, we just throw it in the oven and we all just kind of like snack on it all Agreed. day. So it's like a fun thing to snack on. It is. On. It is. Um, Ashley commented and said that she puts red hot sauce on everything. <laughs> oh, we do too. Yeah. I think I put sriracha on everything. Uh, yeah. I, I love hot sauce. Hot sauce is one of my faves. Um, and Christine is making a salami Spanish mixture. Ooh, mixture. Yummy. That sounds, sounds good. Um, and Terry was asking what kind of oil we're using. Um, I'm just using vegetable oil, but you can use any like sort of oil that fries at a high temperature. Um, I know a lot of people when they make fried chicken they like to use peanut oil for the flavor. Mm -hmm. um, so you could definitely do that as well. Nice. Darla is watching from Washburn, Hi, Maine. Darla. Hello, Darla. Thanks for Thank watching. Thanks for watching. And Paula said, yeah, yeah, it's a cool fake out. Yeah, this it is, is Paula. I love this. I love this so much. You really, um, and the fun thing about cauliflower too is that it takes on really the flavor of whatever you're cooking it with. So I'm going to yeah. toss this in a ton of hot sauce. Yeah. And you wouldn't even know there was a vegetable in there, under there, yeah. I promise you. Um, so I'm making, Grant was asking earlier um, if your team, buff, of your team ranch or team uh, blue cheese. Yeah. And I'm kind of making a little bit of combination of both. Um, so I just took about a cup of Greek yogurt yeah. and I just chopped up a little bit of dill, uh, chives, and parsley to kind of give it that nice fresh herb flavor. And then that kind of ranchifies it up. I'm gonna grate in um, one small clove of garlic, and I'm gonna use the I'm gonna use the grater. Since tip we all learned from Rachel, and I see us all using all the time, is that you just use one of these handheld graters, yeah. and it grates and chops your garlic faster than you could do it. And th what I like about this is that it makes it almost like a nice little garlic paste. Can yeah. you give me a little scrape right there, please. Totally, yeah. Thank you. And then so you don't have to chop it so finely. Big time saver. And then, since I said I couldn't decide between ranch and blue cheese, I'm gonna dump about half a cup of blue cheese in Yum. here. <laughs> I love this idea. This is so good because if you, you don't have to choose between ranch exactly. and blue cheese, you can have them both. Exactly. I like that. A world where you could have both. Yes. Um, um, Sweeta commented and said she's a uh, wimp and likes mild wings. Um, then she asked, okay. what's the drink today? I'm actually going to get started on the drink in yeah. just a second. It's a Buffalo Mary. Sweden knows us too well. <laughs> she knows. Um, but Sweden, this, um, the wing recipe I'm working on over here, um, if you don't like things super hot, you could um, make the ranch marinade for the wings, make the wings, and then toss them in some barbecue oh, sauce. I love if you that. Want to. That make a nice yummy barbecue. That right. sounds delicious. Thank you so much for stirring that up. I have a little uh, bowl I'm going to put that in. Then I'm going to show you how to toss the cauliflower. I have that done on the back counter. So this is our ranchy... Um, Cauliflower, ranchy uh, blue cheese buffalo cauliflower dip. Thank you, Grant. Um, and if you guys are just tuning in today, we're doing all things buffalo. It's like one of, it's been, we've been talking about it for weeks. We're so excited to be doing this. Um, so now this is just my roasted cauliflower. I'm making roasted cauliflower buffalo wings, like a little fake out. So now I'm just gonna douse it in some hot sauce. Ooh, yes. Yep, we were joking today about how many bottles of hot sauce we're probably gonna use by the end of this. I think we're almost probably up to two or three. What do you think? Yeah, I think that we're, uh, this is, yeah, we're, yeah, I think we're gonna go through about three bottles I of hot sauce. I think so. I think so. Um, Linda commented and said that she went to lunch earlier with her sister today, so she could come home and watch. Oh, Linda, that's so nice, that's Linda. That's really sweet. Thanks for. What'd you have for lunch? lunch? 
That's what I was going to ask. <laughs> Uh, Anthony is watching from Dallas, Texas, and said that he loves Rachel Ray. Oh, that's funny. We love Rachel we Ray, love too. We love Rachel Ray, too. <laughs> Best something boss we ever. have in common. Exactly. All right, guys. So this is, I just tossed it like you would just toss, you're going to see Grant toss his buffalo wings a little bit later. Yeah. Um, I just tossed the cauliflower and just a bunch of hot sauce. Not even butter. I find you don't even need it. You don't need butter. Um, so I'm going to put this um, in a nice little serving bowl, and I'm going to serve our blue cheese ranch on the side. Ooh, that and looks that so is yummy. That. I know. We'll dig into that. It's a little hot right now. We'll dig in. I'll just tuck this right in here. Um, if you guys are just now tuning mm. in, today we are celebrating all things buffalo. Mm. And we're making four different buffalo recipes that you've probably never seen before. Yes. Um, Jeanette just finished her very first one. This is her buffalo cauliflower um, with a ranch blue cheese dipper. Mm -hmm. Um, and all these recipes are going to be on the Facebook page later today, so make right sure you come check those out. Um, Lynn commented and said that she made um, the Thanksgiving oh, pasta cool. last night. I made that on um, Facebook Live on Monday. Monday, we were having so much fun with fun oh, pasta so dishes. And that was, for that that was really a great dish, Grant. It was so yummy. Thanks. Um, and Gloria said, you two are adorable. Hi, Gloria. Thanks, Gloria. I think you're adorable. <laughs> Can we try this now? Oh, yeah. No, we can try this. I thought we were moving on to your wings. No. <laughs> I, we were supposed we to. We can't get past this. It's so yeah, yummy. Yeah. Mmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Anything covered in, bu in buffalo sauce, I'll eat. It's automatically delicious. Tastes like chicken. <laughs> it's really good. Thank you. I love that. It's a little trick. I have like a, a lot of vegetarian friends and vegan friends, so this is a, a definitely a crowd pleaser. You can make this for anybody coming over, even the even the non veggie people really really like it. All right, so I'm gonna take out our first batch of wings over here, and I'm gonna throw in another mm -hmm. one in just a second. Nice. Um, I like to um, when you're frying things in batches. Um, I like to do this tip that Rachel taught us. You just put a um, cooling rack on top of a sheet tray, um, and you just let them sit in a really low oven. Um, this way the air kind of circulates around it so they don't get soggy. So I'm just going to pop these in a low oven down here. Yummy. Those look great. Keep those right. guys nice and warm until we're ready to Melissa toss. commented, and she said that she's made buffalo cauliflower wings before, and they're really good. I love this trick, Melissa. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah. They're really, really fun. Um, Emmy commented, and she said she's team blue cheese. And Sonia yeah. commented, and she said she's team ranch. Hmm. All right, so so far we're 50-50, guys. So far we're torn. Um, so I just showed you guys those, those buffalo wings, and right now we're getting started on the sauce. Mm. Um, typically, buffalo wing sauce is just two things, some hot sauce and some butter. Um, so that's what we have in this pan right here. Um, but I like to dress mine up a little bit and make it a little bit spicier by adding in a little bit extra cayenne mm. and some smoky paprika. Mm. It's like kind of sweet I and smoky. smoky paprika. Delicious. Uh, Molly said that she, um, how, how would you trick picky eaters into eating this? I'm not sure you need to trick anybody when you're covering anything in don't buffalo sauce. Don't tell them sauce. it's cauliflower. Exactly. They'll never know. They wouldn't have it no idea. Like wings. It does taste exactly like, <laughs> well, exactly like a chicken wing. Um, and Missy said that combining ranch and blue cheese is genius. I know. It's 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 one of the better ideas. Yeah. <laughs> um, so Sweeta commented just a few minutes ago and asked um, what drink we're making today. We're making a Buffalo Mary. Yeah, we are. Mary's going to Buffalo Town. Hop on the train, Mary. <laughs> um, so in this picture, I'm going to make it for a party because this it's, is the perfect Because we're having a party. We're having a party. It's only the two of us, but we're going <laughs> to have a good time. Um, so I just put in some uh, tomato juice um, into this pitcher. I like to make it a big pitcher because it's for a party. I think I just said that. We like I that. I repeated myself. And there's plenty of people in the room, too, who will help us drink yes. this pitcher of Bloody Marys, I'm sure. <laughs> um, and to make this a Buffalo Mary, we're going to add in buffalo sauce. Hot sauce. I right. love it. I love just it. Just add in a bunch of that. Alicia commented and said that her teething son's finally quieted down because oh, he's watching us. Oh. Hello, Alicia's teething son and Alicia. Thank you guys for watching. Apparently, That's Jeanette and I would be good parents. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> good to know. Oh, goodness. And Pamela says hello from Nashville. Hi, Thank Pamela. You, Pamela. Thanks for watching. Um, so I just added in a little bit of Worcestershire, um, celery salt. I always put celery salt in my Bloody Marys. I love celery salt. Um, some fresh dill. My friend Emily was telling me that she loves fresh dill um, in her Bloody Mary, so we're going to add it in there because I think it sounds pretty good. And it's sort of like a, a wink and a nudge. Is it wink and a nudge or wink and a nod? I think it's wink and a nod. Anyone? Nudge. nudge? Wink nudge. and a nudge. Wink and a, wink and a nod. Nudge. The room is also, we'll have to Google, could somebody Google this? Is it wink and, or someone comment, actually. Is it wink and a nod or wink and a nudge? I don't know. What do I say? I, I don't it? know. Every time I say it, I feel a little <laughs> bit self-conscious because I'm like, am I saying this right? Is this right? Um, and I guess we're going to find out We're going to find out, guys. Somebody comment with the answer. Um, um, so I just added a little bit of lime juice as well. Mm -hmm. And now it's time for vodka. Woo! Ooh. Happy Wednesday! Jeanette just woke up. Yeah, guys. I did. Hello. <laughs> Jeanette's here. Um, you could add tequila if you wanted to, but I'm gonna keep it 
pretty traditional. And so if you added vodka. tequila, would that make it a Buffalo Maria? I think it would, <laughs> right? I think so. I like tequila in my, buddy, in my Bloody Marys as well. Natalie commented Grant, and she said that in honor of Monday's pasta show, she made buffalo chicken brown rice casserole. Oh, yeah. Natalie, it's funny. You like combined both of our yeah. days at Facebook Live. That's really funny. I like that. That sounds really, really good. That sounds good. But we were talking early. Uh, we were talking yesterday. We were coming up with our recipes for today. We're trying to think of anything that Rachel hasn't buffaloed. Right? Yeah, it but was really hard to come up with. It was hard to come recipes. up with some new recipes because she, we've pretty we've buffaloed stromboli, we've buffaloed uh, salad, we've buffaloed um, how many other things? We were talking we couldn't buffalo mac and mac cheese. And cheese. Yeah, oh, that one's so cheese. so good. Rachel has a buffalo um, sloppy Joe. Oh, right? right? buffalo Joe's. Buffalo oh my Joe. gosh. We love buffalo. The, bars, the number one most downloaded recipe of all time, which we often talk about, is uh, buffalo chicken chili, which is something that's so, so yummy. Yeah. Um, then Jen commented, um, can you make the wings without the breading? Um, you totally could, yeah. You could just, you could actually um, marinate them, pat them really, really dry, and then just bake them in the oven like that if you wanted to, and skip the whole frying process. Mm -hmm. But like I said before, I like them crispy and fried. Nice. Grant, I'm not sure when we were debating about what we were wink and nudging at, what was the deal of wink and a nudge at? Ranch. Ranch. <laughs> yeah, because we, we got on this... a full debate about what wink and a nod and wink and yeah. a nudge was. This oh, for you. my goodness. Um, so I garnished guys. our buffalo, Mary. It has some uh, dill in there because it's a wink and a nudge. Did wink. we decide? It's funny. Nod. Wink w and a nod. Wink and a nod, but the comments are divided. Ooh, so wow. maybe no one knows the answer to this question. <laughs> Grant just handed me this bloody buffalo, Mary, that is, I'm going to consider lunch because it's like a whole salad yeah, in it here. Yeah, is. Oh, Let's take a sip. my goodness. Cheers. Mm. Cheers to you guys. Wink and a nod. Cheers. Whatever. Oh, my God. This is Ooh, so yum. delicious, Grant. Mm. I'm never gonna not put uh, buffalo sauce in my Bloody Mary. That I think is this good. is this is a new. Mm. Um, Crystal commented and said, "Have you done buffalo steak?" Rachel actually has done a buffalo steak. She has steak, done a right? buffalo steak, yeah. And I think she did some braised um, vegetables on the side. It was like carrot, oh, celery, yeah. onion. Oh that yeah, exactly. It's, yeah. That's funny because I'm actually gonna get started on um, a buffalo chicken cob salad, which. Um, it's a combination of two of the, probably the most popular salads people order in a restaurant. I always order a buffalo chicken salad. Um, and I also really like a cob salad, so I'm combining the two. But part of my vegetables is going to be carrot and celery because that's a perfect um, thing to put on the side. So, oh, Karen's saying buffalo chicken dip. I love buffalo yeah. chicken dip. Our friend, we have a friend, Maddie, across the street who makes like a really, really famous buffalo chicken dip here. And we call it BCD, <laughs> buffalo chicken dip. Um, all right, so I'm going to start. So like I said, I'm making a buffalo cob salad which um, I'm gonna make my own ranch dressing. And I, you know, the, everything, the kind in the bottle is absolutely fine and absolutely delicious. But really when you boil it down, ranch dressing isn't very unhealthy. You know, you, you can add really wholesome ingredients to this by making it yourself. So right now I'm just adding about half a cup of Greek yogurt. And then the other part that really just tastes ranchy to me is buttermilk. I love yeah. buttermilk. And buttermilk by nature is reduced fat. It's funny, people ask a lot of, uh, a lot of the time, um, you know, if you see uh, buttermilk on the grocery store shelves, the, the jar always says um, reduced fat, but buttermilk by nature is reduced fat. You're not yeah, like, you can't buy tip. full fat buttermilk. It's just reduced fat in the process of making it buttermilk. Yeah. So um, it's a really healthy ingredient. I actually use it a lot. Um, so in, I'm making this in a mason jar today, just in case you have any leftover. Not that there's ever really leftover ranch dressing in my house. Never. Uh, if you have a little bit leftover, you could just kind of store it in the mason jar for at least a few days. It'll, it'll stay ranch good. Dress, dressing might be a crime. I think it might be. <laughs> Where I'm from, ranch is like a, a category of food. Exactly. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, and ranch. You could add it to anything. Um, just to catch you guys up on what we're making today, today we're doing all things buffalo. Um, I just dropped some more wings down into the yeah, fryer. I'm going to finish that. those up in just yeah, a few me. minutes. But Jeanette's in the middle of making her buffalo cob salad, I right? I am, yeah, the buffalo cob salad. I'm making my own ranch dressing. So you guys just saw me put a little, so it's uh, Greek yogurt, um, buttermilk, a little bit of white wine vinegar, apple cider vinegar, whatever you have in the pantry. I'm going to put in about a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. All week I've been trying to open this jar and it gets all over me. I don't work. Ooh, yeah. This is the end of this mustard. <laughs> well, Jeanette's had I'm, it. I'm She's had, had it. With this mustard. Um, Angel is watching from Hi. Puerto Rico. Hello, Ooh, Angel. Hello. Thanks Hola. for watching. Um, and Emily said we're having Rachel's buffalo chicken chili this weekend. Oh, nice, Emily. That's so funny. I might it make is... it too. There's probably a game on. Yeah. There's always a game on. There's always on, a game right? on Sundays. You know us. We love the games. <laughs> Um, and Lenora, Lenora says hi from Pearland. Pearland. I don't know, but I just imagine a land full of it's a lot of pears. It's so magical. Like a magical fairy where land where you could just pick fresh pears all over the place while the game's on. You're watching the game this whole time. <laughs> Eating pears, fresh, juicy pears. I want to go to Pearland. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna give this. Actually, Grant, do you mind giving this a quick shake? Oh yeah. Oh wait, no, but you know, you forgot the most important ingredient, the oh, chives. I forgot. Them. No, he remembered. I forgot. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for chopping those for me. I like to put a little bit of fresh chive in because I used. <laughs> I got half of them in the jar. <laughs> close enough. Close enough. Um, oh, go for it. Um, this doesn't happen in Pearland. I have a feeling. <laughs> this doesn't happen in Pearland. I've got um, I've got everything in my mason jar, and we're just gonna give that a quick shake. And there you go, guys. This is ranch dressing, and it was all you saw all the ingredients that went in. It was all like whole ingredients, no processed anything. Um, I like to add a little fresh chive at the end because it gives it that nice fresh burst. Yeah. Um, and I'm gonna build my cob salad because, as you guys know, cob salad construction is quite the epic adventure. Um, I'm gonna get all that set up, but I think Grant is it is it chicken wing time? It might be is chicken it time wing to time. eat one because I really want to eat one. We have some staying warm in the oven, like I said before. But let me see if these guys are done. These might be ready to come out too. All right, so I think we're ready to start tossing ready? our buffalo wings. This is the best part. This is the fun part. It's when you get to get really messy and toss everything together. Where's the bowl? Here it is. <laughs> um, so. One really great tip whenever you're making buffalo wings at home, find the biggest bowl you have because the more surface area you have to toss, the more coated they're going to get. Um, so I'm going to put, I fried about half of our wings, so I'm just going to put half the sauce down into the bottom of there. Let me grab the wings from the oven. I'm gonna throw these I guys have into news. here. What is it? Pearland is in Texas. Ooh. <laughs> sounds like we need to go to Pearland. Yeah, sounds like Texas. we're going to go on a road trip. I to think so. <laughs> Um, Jill commented that she said it's good to know um, she always thought buttermilk was unhealthy. No, it's actually really high in protein and not very high in fat. So it's definitely one of those great things to have in the fridge. Um, and Sonia says, look at all those recipes. It looks delicious. I know I'm slightly overwhelmed by how much is going on in here right now. We made a lot of recipes today. Um, oh my gosh. And in pa Lenora, is a, our friend from Pearland, Texas, is saying that in Pearland they have tons of fig trees. No, that doesn't make any that sense. That doesn't make any sense at Why is it called Figland? <laughs> We're going to have to take the show on the road to Pearland. Look at his technique. Look at Look that, Grant. This is the <laughs> um, official technique of tossing a buffalo away. Have any of you had buffalo everywhere? Back. I feel like I'm covered um, in... I took, actually, I'll just show you guys because I have my t-shirt. This is what I was wearing earlier and I have buffalo sauce all over it. <laughs> so you check that out. Can you see that? I got buffalo sauce. When you toss these, you want to like walk away. I got some bacon grease on me for my cob salad. We're, we're, <clears throat> I never trust a clean cook. That's ever. true. All right, so I'm going to put these onto oh our platter. Goodness. These are our ranch marinated buffalo wings. Oh, Check those out. That. Don't those look delicious? Grant, I like to um, dip these in ranch, yeah, ranch on ranch. Is it time to do it, or should we let them cool down a bit? Um, all these recipes are going to be up on the Facebook page just a little bit later. And to catch you guys up to speed, we are like, we're living in ranch buffalo land today. I'm going to give you this. This one, I oh, feel like you just one, need a drummer. I need. I love a drummer. I like a drummer. I actually I prefer. Me Can too. I just go dip in here? Yeah, just dip straight dip into in the ranch. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is really good, Graham. I'm talking with my mouth full. I'm not talking. <laughs> We're not talking. Marinating it with the ranch buttermilk. I know, you, you that really flavor taste comes it. through so so strongly, and it's like it's like ranch and then buffalo and then ranch again. That mm -hmm. is just a trifecta of a of a chicken wing. You call them the ultimate chicken wings because they, the they're pretty chicken. ultimate. And you guys I need to download yours. this recipe. That you're gonna finish mine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're close. <laughs> VJ, our coworker down the hall in the office, just said that uh, she's really hungry. Come on in, VJ. Come on in, VJ. We've got some food open. for you. The door's always open. For you. Come on down. All right, I'm gonna get ready and plate my uh, cob salad while you're snacking away. On Do I have wings. anything on my face? You've got a lot of things on your face, honey. <laughs> and Dn commented, "Would you take ranch? Uh, oh, she would take ranch over blue cheese any day." Dn, we're we're 50 in here today. We can't we can't make a decision today. Um, all right, so I'm gonna build my cob salad and. It's funny, Rachel and Emerald recently on the show made a big okay. cob salad. They're so good. We're, you're going to find us snacking on those all day. Um, and so I like I like the way she pr uh, presented it when her and Emerald were making it. She put it on this really big serving platter. And um, I just have like one really big head of romaine, very thinly sliced. And yesterday when we were Googling around um, cob salad, I was looking for a little bit of inspiration. Um, my coworker Emily and I found this really fun mnemonic device that helps you build a cob salad. Mm -hmm. And it's called Eat Cob. So we're gonna try and do this in order without messing it up. Eat cob. Eat cob. So, so e, e is eggs, Ooh. which uh, my coworker Kate so beautifully uh, hard boiled me some eggs yesterday. Yeah. You I might was... know um, Jeanette as Rachel's stunt toaster. Yes. Um, our friend Kate is Jeanette's stunt egg boiler. <laughs> she is. 
And look how beautiful they are. They're, they're gorgeous. So they're they're really like way more beautiful. Eggs. I know. Perfectly perfect. Okay. So E A avocado. Avocado. Um, Carlito commented and said that she's stuck in college. Can you please send me forty? I wish we could. Oh yeah. Um, and my mom commented and said, "Grit, are you making these at Thanksgiving?" <laughs> Pam, Thanksgiving's Those canceled. Have... It's just. Do you remember that time on the show we did Buffalo Ranch Giving? We did Buffalo that Ranch Giving. That was one of our once. favorite shows, and every element of Thanksgiving was either buffalo or ranchified. Yeah. That was one of the better ideas that you've had. I really liked that <laughs> one. All right, so now we're at tea. So we have eggs, avocado. Tea is tomato. Tomato. So I have these really pretty heirloom tomatoes because, like, I think we were just talking about how falls tomorrow. And I think it's like the very, very last few days of some really, really good tomatoes. Yeah. Get them um, while they're good. So now it's, I'm adding two more C's to my eat cob. So it's eat c cob. C cob. <laughs> and I'm adding, because we're doing buffalo today, I'm adding in some carrots and some celery. I think my celery is right under here. Oh, grab that. I just love, I love a cob Ooh, salad yeah. when it comes to this. Oh, you are doing two C's. I thought the other C was chicken. It is. So there's three C's. There's three C's? There's three C's. Wow. So now I'm going to pop on my buffalo chicken. And I just cooked up two chicken breasts. Um, I'm going to pile those on here. This is going to be a monster of So, salad. so far we have E, A, a, a T, T, C, C, C. Now we're ready now for the O. O is onion. Let me onion. get the, I have buffalo sauce on my hands as we all do today. <clears throat> Um, um, Shelly commented and said she made buffalo deviled eggs oh, with that cob salad. That Yum, sounds good. Shelly, that sounds I love delicious. Eggs. Me too. Um, all right, so now O oh. is some red onion. I just love letting the. <laughs> Got it's some like you guys are watching an episode of Sesame Street. It is. O is for oh. onion. <laughs> So now we're at B. B. And I think the B's, the two B's, might be our favorite ingredients: blue cheese, blue cheese. and bacon. So oh, wow. I'm gonna. I know it looks like a rainbow, doesn't it? It does. And whoever wrote this mnemonic device was a genius. Eat cob. Eat c -c cob. <laughs> I just baked bacon. I don't know when you guys uh, watch Rachel make bacon all the time. I learned that from her, and it splatters so much less when you just shove it in the oven, yeah. and you're not um, worrying about skillet staying hot and everything. And now I am going to douse this. And some ranch dressing. Ranch. In my mason jar, which I shook up. And that is my buffalo cob salad. We, I think we have some forks at the other end. Some buffalo cob salad. Look at that. And this would feed an army of people. And it looks just like a really pretty rainbow. So many veggies in there. Lots of lettuce. Um, lots of bacon and cheese. But And we use chicken breast, so that's a nice little uh, healthy lean protein. Grant's got some forks. Some. I think it's time to take a little bite of this. Let's do it. Where'd my, uh, my, my Buffalo Mary go? This is absolutely yeah. delightful. Mm, some of that. Mm -mm. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get a little bite. I know, how do you do this? I don't know. I'll try the chicken and some cheese. Right, I'm just gonna go across like this. <laughs> Completely ruining your beautiful nope, salad. All good. Beautiful. Irma commented and said, what about a Buffalo chicken empanada? Mm, Irma, awesome. that might be the one thing we've never made. That's really good. Oh, thanks. Right. I love this. Mm. It's like a little health, healthy take, plus a little cheese and bacon, on some buffalo chicken. And um, this buffalo cob salad, as well as all of these recipes, mm -hmm. which we've completely destroyed our kitchen that making today. Strange. Yeah, it's really good, yeah, right? This is good. Um, are going to be up on the Facebook page just a little bit later. So make sure to come back for those. And maybe you want to make some of these for this weekend for the big game. Um, Janet commented that she's making buffalo chicken, mushrooms, and onion as we speak. Ooh, Janet, that how fun. Well, how participatory in our fun buffalo event today. Um, we're going to go because I really need to eat some of these wings and not have and not be on camera with all the food on my face. So we're going to say goodbye, but thank you so much for joining us. Um, exciting news, my friend Grant is going to be on the show tomorrow, and he is making a show-stopping chic Cake. He is making chic Super cake. Chic. chic again. You wouldn't chic know again. that I'm chic with buffalo sauce all over my face. <laughs> He's very but it's chic. True. I can be chic. <laughs> he can be chic, and he makes this absolutely delicious uh, Brooklyn blackout cake mm -hmm. with like Guinness beer, and it's so so yummy. So you have to tune in tomorrow to the Rachel Ray show and see him and Rachel cook that up. Um, and that's it. Have a wonderful day. If you like what you saw today, make sure you like, comment, share, and cook. Bye guys. Bye bye. Happy buffalo party. <laughs> <laughs>